Next week, there will be a lot of new faces around the table at Ottawa City Council. Nearly all of them are new to the political spotlight, which is where Corey O'Kelly plans to put them over the next two weeks. Tonight, Stephen Blay, who knocked out Rob Jellett out of his seat in Cumberland. I am a political junkie, you know. Claude Bennett for the PC party, and we've got uh, Eugene Whalen and his famous uh, cowboy hat. Well, look at that, you have a Jim Watson button. I do button have a Jim Watson collection. button, you know. There's no telling where politics can take you. Yes, Stephen Blay, perfect example. From school board trustee to an upset council victory in Cumberland. Like a lot of these people, he's learned the lesson of retail politics, selling yourself right to the voter. We worked very hard uh, from January 4th all the way until Election Day. Took uh, over a million, uh, 1.2 million steps. We knocked on 25,000 doors, and uh, that was the best decision. The lesson learned. Voters in his area feel left out of rapid transit. When he gets sworn in, he wants the deal sweetened for his people. We've got a plan right now to bring more rapid bus service into the East End through the Cumberland Bus Transit uh, Corridor. I think we need to work with the upper levels of government to see if instead of building it from buses from day one, we should be building it from light rail as day one so it can link into the network that we're building through the core. But he's going to be cautious about those costs for good reason. He's bet his constituents about $9,000 that taxes won't go up higher than inflation. I don't have a bottom line, so to speak. I, I, I can't justify spending, uh, if the cost overruns on the current plan go 20, 30% over budget, I think that would be a tough pill to swallow. If he delivers on his promise, he's hoping voters will remember that next time round. Corey O'Kelly, CBC News, Ottawa.